All right, Ben, it's it's been shaping up this way for a little bit now. We're we are officially in a dead heat. The Jacksonville Jaguars, that that big lead, or it felt like a big lead at least, it has evaporated here over the last three weeks. And the AFC South has three eight and six teams vying for playoff contention. So we could start with the Jags. They are still technically in first place, and we'll get there, but I want to start with with the darling team of the NFL on Fox podcast this season. That's the Houston Texans. They find a way to get it done in Tennessee. Maybe not the the prettiest game of their season, but you know what? It, it doesn't matter. It's a win, and it gives them a week to try to get C.J. Stroud back into the lineup. Do you see that as a possibility for this week? I guess let's start there. Yeah, I, I imagine it would be a possibility as of – Today, when we're recording, CJ is still in concussion protocol. That's what D'Amico Ryans told reporters on, on Monday. But I, I imagine he has a good chance to play this week. Uh, just, I mean, we have seen more serious concussions, like even in my own division, like the Titans Titans receiver Traylon Burks missed uh, about uh, three, three or four games with a concussion. Uh, so it, it is possible for those kinds of injuries to kind of like prolong. Um, but I think in most cases we've seen guys be able to come back after uh, missing one game. So I, I imagine that's in the plan. Uh, I mean, the, the Texan Texans would obviously hope for, for that to be the case too. Uh, case Keenum came up big for them this weekend in, in Nashville, but you, you would certainly love to have your QB one back. So, so I guess it's kind of still wait and see for the Texans at this point. I couldn't help but think about you at the in the home stretch of this game. Not a very memorable one. It it kind of looked like not having CJ was going to sink them in the end and then they they kind of catch fire there at the end for for two scoring drives in the last 15 or 20 minutes of the game. I know you're you're working on a on a story about D'Amico Ryans and how he's kind of changed the culture there to rally behind a backup quarterback. And I know Case Keenum has played a lot of games in this league, but just given the guys they've lost here over the last few weeks, not having their quarterback, what do you think it said about what D'Amico Ryans has done there uh, that they were able to rally and, and keep their playoff hopes afloat? Yeah, I, I think it says a number of things, Dave. I, I think number one, it, it really speaks to the depth of this Texans team, right? Like they, they weren't only down CJ Stroud, but they were without Nico Collins we know Tank Dell is on IR. He's out for the season. They're without their top off-ball linebacker and Blake Cashman. They were without Will Anderson, who's really their number two edge rusher. They're without their right tackle. They're without one of their better defensive backs. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And they, they were able to get this massive win uh, in, in Nashville. And, and so I think that really speaks to their depth. I mean, Noah Brown is a guy who had shown at times uh to to be productive uh for them and without nico and tank dell i mean he he really showed out uh and, and then dalton schultz came up big for them too and then Dev devin singletary the, the the running back he's really become rb1 for houston so so he came up big as well but i think more than anything dave i mean th this really shows the work that D'Amico ryans has done with this defense uh I think from from the start of the year that they'd shown improvements from what was last season a, a disaster. But I, I think as the year has worn on, they've continued to get better and better. And, and they're really the, the primary reason uh, they won this game. I mean, Derrick Henry is a guy who has gone bonkers on them for, for years. He's had multiple 200-yard rushing games against them. And he only had nine rushing yards on, on 16 carries, his worst uh, rushing performance as a Titan starter um, really bottled him up. They bottled up DeAndre Hopkins. They sacked Will Levis seven times. I know the Titans O line has a lot of issues, but sacking him seven times was huge. Derek Stingley showed out uh, to have the defense play like this in December uh, when you know you don't have CJ, you, you you don't have a lot of those offensive fireworks, so to speak, in terms of your talent on that side of the ball. And to have that side of the ball really 
elevate and 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 play, rate, rise to the occasion in kind of a, a must win game at this point in the season, uh, I I think really speaks wonders about kind of what D'Amico Ryan's has done. A must win game, and also it had to have felt so good to get a win over the Titans when they were wearing those Oilers uniforms. Like exactly. what a, what a petty move by Tennessee. And I think it's fair to say it, it kind of backfired for him on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, D'Amico Ryan's didn't want to like address, like if like the fact that the Titans were wearing the Oilers throwbacks added any motivation. I, I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less from, uh, from just D'Amico and, and usually coaches will, kind of play it that way but um but yeah no no doubt about it uh that they kind of felt some type of way about it I know a lot of Houston fans uh were, were upset oh yeah about it too oh uh, yeah for it was sure all over <laughs> yeah it was all over social media and uh just in the city of Houston too so um so yeah it felt especially good and then we saw the uh Texans social media they kind of clapped back uh, they, they've been really good at that this season, by the way, just in terms of clapping back at teams who, um, you know, try to make them seem small, but then they get the win. And then like within five minutes, they put out a tweet and, and, and the Texans did the same thing. Like they quote tweeted a tweet the, the Texans had about just wearing the Oilers throwbacks and they, you know, so, so it's just kind of fun. But but yeah, I know I know it really fired them up to to be able to do it. Uh, to, to be able to do what they did with, with the Titans wearing those jerseys.